everybody, welcome back to the Hack Shack. We're out here today braving the cold. I got some heaters on. I got it up to about 68 degrees in here, so it's it's bearable. Take a look at what I got happening here. Tata Electronics sells these little kits. Um, one of them was a K303. Uh, it is a ultra quiet two channel mic preamp, condenser or dynamic. And um, what are they selling for these days? $7.99, pretty cool. It gives you all this stuff right here. Um, I used a different uh, perf board. This is the perf board that it came with. I prefer the style for doing eight pin dips, stuff like that. Uh, anyway, I supplied that, but the rest of it's all supplied by Tata in that kit. And here is the schematic. It's a dual operational amplifier that it's based on an NE5532. There's the data sheet for that. It's just a dual op amp. And anyway, there's the uh, schematic. A few uh, RC filters here and there, and a couple of pots, and input output jacks, switches, and bam, we're there. So I'm gonna put this thing inside this little candy container um, that I got from a uh, uh, Joe's, somebody Joe's. Hmm, I don't know what that is. Anyway, I'm um, gonna put it in this and we'll put the jacks on this end to be like in out in and out left and right or channel one and two and on the sides i am going to mount some little uh switches little single pole double throw switches what they will do is uh switch between condenser mic or dynamic mic because the condenser mic has to run through a different little RC filter because of its higher impedance. Anyway, uh, this is the layout for that. Right there is the end layout where the jacks will go. That's where the pots are going to sit on top. And then on the side, we'll have the switches. So I've got some dimensions to work with there and punch some holes in this. I've already built the, uh, the little board up. I wasn't going to bore you with all that. Um, I got plenty of other videos where I deal with how to solder up stuff like this on a breadboard so watch some other videos if you want to learn how to do this pretty basic stuff I usually uh, start out at a certain point and I just draw a line with a highlighter on what part of the schematic I've completed and I move on to the next one then I go back through and I'm all done I look at it one more time and I highlight it one more time with a second highlighter different color and lots of times find little mistakes I found two on this anyway so that's, uh, let's see, that part built, and um, now it's all down to just uh, getting it mounted up in the box. There is one more part to this circuit that I need to build uh, right here, the voltage regulator. I'm just going to put the thing on the end here where there's a little room left over. It's basically three, three components, that's it, three components, two, uh, two capacitors and uh, the voltage regulator. Hmm. where one of the pins comes through off from the uh, capacitor right there. See what I do is just bend that lead and I can bridge across these guys and get up here and make continuity with that pin. That's how I do stuff on these perf boards. Okay, layout is done on the can. Got to punch the holes in here on the drill press now. So um, through the magic of video, etc., I'm going to run to the garage, come back, and boom, holes. Um, but <laughs> inside there, look at that. That's awful. Oh, I got to deal with all that push through on the sheet metal. Damn. Probably should have blocked this up with some really hard wood inside before I drilled it but eh, I just have to get in there with a grinder or something now crap change my mind on this got something new now it's gonna work it'll fit nice let's see how stuff fits there's a switch 
lines right up nice. Got little bolts to hold those in. The pots go in here. Get back here. Yep, they're okay. And the jacks go in the side here. Tight fit on the jacks, really close together. Now I can start soldering bits and bobs together. There it is, ready to test out. Here's the input side. I've got the switches for the high and low impedance, 1K or 2.2K. The microphone that came with it requires 2.2K, so when I test it out, I can use that. Right now, they're set to high. Here's the um, gain knobs or volume, whichever you want to call it. Uh, these are the outputs right here. Again, quarter inch output jacks, and there's battery power. A switch for power. When it's in that position, it's off battery power. When it's in that position, it is running off from the external power. Uh, there's no off per se. I could maybe modify that later. Or I could just rig up one of these little barrel connectors with the switch that automatically switches off the power from the battery. But I'll do that later. Right now I just want to do some testing. We're all set for testing. In fact, it's... Um, it's running right now. You can't hear anything because what I have is just a sine wave going through it from my old uh, model 377 ICO signal generator putting out a sine wave right now and I've got it running in here on uh, let's call it channel 1 and I've got that hooked up to the scope over here my Tektronix 453 we'll zoom in a little I'm gonna turn up the volume now and you see there's a sine wave and then there's a volume control on the little preamp that doesn't do much till you get to like right there the last you know the last um god less than a quarter of a turn or anything just barely at the end it makes a difference but whatever we can work that out later with a different pot i'm not sure why it's like that but that's one channel um there we are we're in the other channel and there's the volume pot on that side you see that's like um, that's pretty much zero, that's halfway, that's three quarters, that's seven eighths, and then right there in the very last part. So we can mess around with that later. The switch for power on and off right there. Let's try changing the frequency coming out. Um, let's go way up there. Woo! Super high frequency. Let's go back down to something lower. Switch to square. Square wave. Great. Well, I know it works on both channels. Now I just got to try it out on some audio sources and see how, uh, how it does. Okay, everything's tested out. Added a couple more switches. The ones that switch to uh, dynamic or condenser, that's taken care of. Four switches there, one for power. So five total, two pots. Four jacks to mount inside here and cram all this in there along with a 9 volt battery. It can be done. Rivet them switches in there, baby. It's in there. All the switches are in there. Channel one, channel two, on and off. There's my dynamic condenser switches, the high, low impedance switches, the inputs and outputs, and um, now I just gotta hammer this in there. Yeah, I need to insulate that. Hmm, probably uh, should just put some paper in there. Heavy duty cardboard stuff. Maybe pass a file over the back of this. It's in there. All the switches are in there. Channel one, channel two, on and off. There's my dynamic condenser switches, the high, low impedance switches, the inputs and outputs, and um, now I just gotta 
hammer this in there. Yeah, I need to insulate that. Hmm, probably uh, should just put some paper in there. Heavy duty cardboard stuff. Maybe pass a file over the back of this. circuit board next. All the wires out of the way. And all the wires should move around okay. And push all these wires out of the way enough to get a 9 volt battery in there somewhere. There we go. That's probably good enough. Let's get some power to that thing. Battery in place. <laughs> There we go, all that's left is put the knobs on. So let's see, channel one, channel two, something like that, yes. There we go. Cool. And you know, if I use it in a band, there you go. <laughs> so that's it, it's the Band-Aid preamp. Um, hope it works. <laughs> I'll have to go test it out with a guitar here in a little bit and see if I've got uh, any kind of gain going on. Well, I just tested it out with the uh, Altoids and um, the condenser mic and the dynamic. I can't get anything out of it. It's not working. So who knows what's going on. Um, there's a lot of shit crammed in there. I might have not gotten power to it properly. So I guess I'll mess around with it here for a while off camera. See if we can get it going. So I can get that tone from there to run through and sound like something, but I still can't get the condenser microphone to do anything with it. And I checked it on uh, like guitar level, you know, any of that. I can't get it to do any kind of a preamp in that regard. So I'm not entirely convinced it's working the way it should. Uh, a little more troubleshooting may be in store here. But anyway, kind of a fun build, cool looking package. Um, regardless but uh, we'll get it working figure it out at some point um, so maybe that'll be for another time but uh, anyway there it is the band-aid box two channel microphone preamp hopefully I get it figured out and working right all right well that's it for now thanks for watching thanks for the donations and until next time mm -hmm.